the non-approved side of the patient is turned up and the sandbag is inserted underneath the buttock. The patient is moved to the operative side and aligned on the edge of the operative table. Next, the patient is turned onto the non-operative side. The spy pillow is inserted below the inferior angle of scapula on the site of operation. It is important towels are placed underneath the patient's head to prevent cervical strain. The common perineal nerve is the body is strapped by adhesive tape at the level of lower lips and iliac crest. The common perineal nerve is protected by the insertion of the pillow underneath both thighs and legs. The seat belt is placed over both knees. The bony prominence are shaked to avoid undue pressure. Towels are placed underneath the patient's head to prevent cervical strain. The patient is covered with a warm sheet to prevent hypothermia. The shoulder is prepped and draped under the right fashion. The arm, forearm, trunk, and head are covered with sterile sheet. The arm and forearm of operative site are inserted in the sleeve. The arm and forearm are connected to shoulder suspension tower and applying the weight approximately 3 kg for the traction. The traction should be 45 degree in forward elevation and 30 degree in abduction. A sterile waterproof sheet is applied to the patient. This is a modified semilateral decubitus position. The surgeon is doing an atroscopic examination. The position of the patient is adjusted to more upright by using the motorized controls to achieve 30 degree of hip friction. Without traction, the scapula is falling back due to the gravity. This position is allowed for adequate motion of the shoulder and similar to beach chair position. Fuller scope is convenient for flexure evaluation.